Hi there guys, welcome back to Hughes Nursery. Now, here, as I've been saying on Facebook, I'm going to be making a worm farm. Very easy. Everything you see on the table is what you need. You need some sand, some nice, rich, fertile compost, uh, vegetable scraps, a drill, and the worms, which are in here. So first off, you're gonna just get lots of shredded newspaper. I'll make it as a bedding at the bottom, but, I'm putting that back in as you need to drill the holes first, the drainage holes. Now, what I'm going to be doing is use a small drill bit, uh, about 0.5 mil millimetres or something, so that flies don't fly up. And you're just going to go in, making holes at random spaces. Right, the box that I'm using here is, um, you can see through it, but it's best to get an uh, opaque box. If not, you can just cover it in newspaper, paint it, or put it in a dark, shaded place. Um, I'm now going to go on to drill the top bit. If you can see the holes there. Go on to drill the top bit. And I'll get back to you when I finish that. So. Here's the box, you can see all the holes here and all of the holes there. Okay, take a look at that. Now, just a quick shout out to the Productive Garden. Great channel, he also made a worm f uh, bin farm thing, but he did like with lots of different boxes. Um, this is a simple and easy one, so I'm not copying his idea at all. Uh, there's a shout out to him, great channel, um, there'll be a link in the description and in the video. So we're now just going to go getting all your newspaper bits like this, picking them up, putting it as a layer at the bottom of the worm farm that you're making. So we're like that, we're now just going to Put on a, a bit of sand, clump it down a bit. I think like my square like to it. I'm not going to use all of it, make sure the sand is quite dry. Unfortunately this is a bit wet, but oh well. Right, there we go. Now we're going to make the living area for the worms. We're just going to get some nice rich compost, like this. You can tell by the colour. You can also choose um, this is from our compost. You can also choose if you want it to it, be composted manure. And we're just going to go around making the bedding for it. Guys, stop and speed it up, okay? Now, that's a bedding layer that they'll be living in. That's basically their headquarters. Now we can introduce the worms, okay? Now you can get these from garden centers or anything, but I'm just getting worms from out the garden. And I have quite a few here. There you are, that should be enough for now. A couple more there, one, two. That's quite a big one. I might actually swap it for a smaller one. There you go. So those are the worms that you want. You might like chuck in a couple more, be generous. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put on some more compost over them. Just a bit, remember. Now we get into a stage where we're going to make some real compost, okay? You can, if this is dry compost that you're using, give it a, spring, a quick sprinkle of water, but not too much. But now we're doing what the worms like do as a living. We're adding the organic vegetable matter to them, okay? You're gonna want quite a few leaves. I'm using some, uh, we're using some carrots here cut leaves. We've also got some nice beech leaves now. I'm giving them a nice surprise here of carrots and 
apple which I hope they're going to enjoy just as a, a like a sort of welcome gift just like that now oh yeah I forgot we've also got a cup of cucumbers for them so there we have it we've made the worm farm okay guys so that's what we're gonna do all we need to do now is to get the lid and the worms are gonna be uh, they're going to be working hard at that, okay, pulling it all down, you may want to break it up a bit more, but I'm not going to. We're just going to say goodbye to the worms, close the lid, quite sealable here. Right then, let's adjust the camera for you guys. That's how it works, okay. The worms, living quarters, and then the veg and everything. So I'm going to keep this in quite a dark place for them, um, quite a dark place, remember if you had, have an opaque uh, box it can be lighter but I, I got this because it was cheap for just uh, three pounds which is about two dollars that's all it costs to make this um, just a sh another shout out to Garden Frugal he does loads of brilliant videos on gardening, uh, frugal living and everything and also to the kiwi grower who's been uh, all sorts of interesting and weird uh, fruit that he's growing and he's um, got a cool Facebook page as well the same as Garden Frugal uh, so subscribe to all the people I've mentioned and um, basically I'll keep you updated on that so thank you very much for watching hope you've learned how to make a quick and easy worm farm and I'll keep you updated thank you and goodbye <laughs>